how do you get through to these people? So often I see activists and they, they come face to face with the CEO or somebody and they immediately become very aggressive. Do you realize what you're doing to the planet? Do you realize what you're doing to my future? Like this. And so the person that they're attacking is immediately defensive. They're immediately thinking, how can I respond to this? How can I deal with this person? And so I've learned over the years, well, actually I was kind of born that way. I think it was my mother's education, but it's no good when you meet somebody like that who's dedicated to their path, which may be a destructive path. It's no good trying to get to the brain because their brain is wired for success, for financial success. What you have to do is to get into the heart. And how do you get into the heart? With stories. So you find out just a little bit about the person that you want to change. And then you try and tell stories that will, even if they don't appear to agree with you at the time, I know for a fact they may go away and think about it and think about it. And you may have scored a much bigger point than you thought. I'm over there, yeah. I'm obstinate. I mean, if I come up against somebody who I think, you know, your values stink and you're in a powerful position and you think that you can just destroy the environment mm -hmm. and you think that you can stop the program I'm doing, well, I'm going to prove that you're wrong and I may not be able to directly fight you, but I can work my way around underneath. I can instill the right values of compassion, love, respect in the young people, and they will gradually grow up and move into those positions. Right from the beginning, you know, when the media first came around and wanted to interview me, I tried to hide away. And then I realized that I need the media on my side. And I have found that in all my interactions with the media, I think hopefully including you tonight, <laughs> um, if, if you approach the media right, they, they will help you spread a message. And that's very important to me. But there is also this thing, the media must be, uh, you know, it mustn't take sides. So they report both sides. And this, I think, is a mistake. So reporting fake news and reporting real news shouldn't have the same value somehow. Right. So the, the media has a very important role and hopefully... Um, at least in many countries, they are rising up to fulfill that important role. Sadly, in some countries, they then get killed. Yeah. So it's it's tough in in the media. I mean, so many uh, so many places where people are criticised for not being stronger or tougher. Put yourself in their place and realise that if you're strong and tough, you may be killed. It's, it's difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People always ask me why I still have hope. Um, I've got five reasons. I've told you one, <coughs> the young people. Second, the resilience of nature. I talked about the trees coming back around Gombe, animals on the brink of extinction having another chance, forests being saved and regenerating. Um, the, uh, social media, for the first time ever, we can bring people together from around the world who care about an issue so they can strengthen each other. Um, strength in numbers, are, and, and also the um, human brain. I mean, we're coming up with solutions faster and faster. And our, it's important that we realize, use our brain to leave our own light ecological footprint every single day. That's important. But then finally, there's the indomitable human spirit. And I carry, he's called Mr. H. <laughs> He was given to me 28 years ago by a man <clears throat> called Gary Horn. Gary Horn was blinded, age 21, in the U.S. Marines. He decided to become a magician. Everybody said, Gary, how can you be a magician if you're blind? He said, well, I can try. He does shows for kids. They don't know he's blind. At the end, he'll say, something might go wrong in your life. You never know, but if it does, don't give up. There's always a way forward. He does scuba diving. He does skydiving. He's taught himself to paint blind, never painted before. Anyway, he thought he was giving me a stuffed chimpanzee for my birthday, and I made him hold the tail. 
chimps don't have tails, Gary. <laughs> and he said, never mind, take him where you go and you know my spirit's with you. So he is my symbol for the indomitable human spirit, the people that you hear about, the people I meet who tackle what seems impossible and won't give up.